U.S. petrochemicals industry supports more than 2 million jobs developing chemical compounds to manufacture everything from grocery bags to commercial aircraft. With access to inexpensive and reliable energy sources, the U.S. petrochemical industry has become increasingly competitive in the global market. Icosa Media talked with two well-respected leaders in the industry at Sarah Week to understand just what petrochemicals are. Right, when people think about oil and gas, they, they think more about the upstream development, the, you know, out searching for oil resources and taking that to refinery, producing oil and gas. The petrochemical industry, particularly in North America today, is more focused on taking the molecules that those folks don't really want. Uh, you know, they, when you produce oil and gas, sometimes you also produce uh, things like ethane and propane that are minor components of what they're producing but can be a nuisance. They are a disposal problem uh, for that industry and so uh, we can uh, recover the ethane and convert it into useful products. A lot of people don't really appreciate uh, the, the role of the refining industry or other parts of the downstream chain uh, and why that's uh, crucial to the oil and gas industry. We build big facilities called crackers that we can spend uh, billions of dollars on to take a simple molecule like ethane and convert it to something useful like ethylene that then gets converted to products that you use every day. You know, polyethylene in a milk jug or a Coleman cooler or, or, uh, or the, the tube that holds your toothpaste. Uh, and so that's, that's why we're interested in these molecules. And really, we like to take people's waste products and convert them into something useful. That's our business model. While we do see uh, very, very significant changes coming over the past, uh, over the coming decades. Uh, you know, we, we think that the realities are people will continue to drive cars, fly in airplanes, and uh, buy things at the store. And petroleum products are going to be required to provide the fuels to conduct those transactions. Uh, the uh, packaging, uh, clothing, everything that we, that we, that surrounds us in our homes, in our cars, in our, in our, in our workplaces, uh, are very dependent on the petrochemical industry uh, and without petrochemicals uh, it would be very, very difficult to imagine how we'd, how we'd get up and get dressed in the morning. Yeah, the sustainability and growth in, in petrochemicals based on the shale revolution or all the shale or, or uh, liquids that are available really depends on a number of things. We look at the, uh, the volume of resources that's available. Do these formations actually have the hydrocarbons there uh, that will be brought into the marketplace so we can know that our pipeline is going to be full of feedstock to run these facilities. And then thirdly, we have to make sure that we've got the human resources. What's going on in North America today is going to provide jobs and opportunities for the next 30 or 40 years. Uh, we have a very competitive industry. We have a very competitive energy cost structure and supply cost structure. Uh, and it, it's a real success story. Uh, for American industry to be able to export and supply these markets. People often ask, you know, uh, with all of these, these resources being discovered and developed in North America, why don't we just keep them here at home to keep things low cost at home? Why would we, why would we even consider exporting them? Really what we have in these shale resources is just an incredible benefit to the U.S. economy and if we export some of those molecules, we export some of those hydrocarbons, it's going to benefit to the economy. One of the opportunities that exporting uh, that gas provides is energy is a lot more expensive in other parts of the world so it provides an incentive for more energy to be developed here so more oil and gas can be developed if there is an outlet for the gas. If the, if the gas is constrained it simply won't be produced and in our industry we're interested in ethane, so we only see the ethane volumes come out of the ground if there's a home for the natural gas. And so the more demand there is for natural gas, uh, the more opportunity we will have to access ethane and to create more value for the economy. So it's really a win-win for the U.S. economy to export some of these hydrocarbons, and it's a win-win for the global economy. And with global international trade, it really does, uh, if you're doing business with somebody, you're gonna have better relationships with those countries. There's gonna be less, less strife if we're, if we're cooperative in the world than if we constrain the world.